Hey guys, it's Xavier with Tuesdays, or Tuesdays with Xavier, and it's going to be another like mix of relationships and of this week's gears, uh, gear. So here we go. I gotta write it down. Okay. Relationships are first. How did my girlfriend take it? She took it really well. Oh, by the way. I'm sorry I can't have her in this video because she ha she's doesn't really want to be in the video. Not in a bad way, but we made one before and I had to take it down and it was all this problem. But I she just she was just too shy to be in it this time, I guess. But anyway, continuing. Uh, she took it really well. Um, she honestly didn't really care because she loved me whether I was. Um, a girl or a guy, or a, if I was a girl with guy, if I was a guy with girl parts in general, she loved me anyway. Um, did she accept it? Yes. Did my past girlfriend accept me? Yes. Um, ha to her, well, how does it feel to date a trans guy? For her, Basically, it was any normal, any other normal guy. It didn't really change how she saw me, um, cause she said she loves everything about me. So I guess she really doesn't care that I have a weird voice and that I have different parts. She doesn't really care. Does she respect my journey of becoming full male? Journey as in like. For me continuing to testosterone mm, sort of i tell her about it but i think i told her more the negative things about it and not the pros about it so she doesn't really want me to start it because of the bad things like the scary things that scared me i scared her with it too so i guess she does and she doesn't in a way is it awkward around family? Um, very awkward. I mean, my mom is okay with her. She, like, my mom's chill with it. My mom will get. My mom will buy her Starbucks or something else and not get me anything. <laughs> like, that's her other child to my mom. So my mom's okay with it, but her family knew. Are pronouns easy or hard? Um, pronouns are easy for her. She doesn't call me by my birth name or by she or anything else. She calls me by my chosen name that I chose. And yeah, so it's not that hard. <laughs> but that's it for those questions that I wrote down. Continue with gear. Okay, so trans gear basically is what we need to become completely happy with ourselves before any surgeries and such. So, I'm going to start from head to toe. Okay, binders. Binders, I do have one. I'm just lazy to put it, get it because I, I just put it away. So, but I rarely wear my binder only because it doesn't fit me and I've had it since 8th grade. So, it's really small on me and I don't like it. And it's like a full compression shirt so I can tuck it in but it gets really annoying and I'm trying to save up for a better one. But... It's just like this thing that really compresses your chest to not make you look down and see something's popping out of your chest and make you feel a lot better. Um, another thing is packers. Packers are a device that, not a device, it's like an electronic device. It's basically a prosthetic that's kind of like squishy rubbery that guy, trans guys stick in their pants to create the illusion that there is a bulge there, that there is a penis there, in order to give them more confidence and feel like there's something there when there's it feels empty. And there's three types. First one is a regular packer. It just sits in your pants. Second one is a pack and play. Pack and play, you pack with your pants, you put it in your pants and it packs in your pants, and then there's the play where obviously you can use it for intercourse and other things. And the third one is um, STP which is a stand to pee so basically they can have it in their pants and they can use it to pee in a urinal or standing in, a in front of a toilet 
Um, I think that's... Oh, there's also um, certain underwears that we, we can buy for it. There's one called Rodeo. Um, and I think they sell it on lesloveboat.com. And it's basically like a normal boxer brief. Except it has like a hole in the middle for that. It, it can be for that or for lesbians who want to wear it and put a strap on. I, I, I've seen it. I, I just don't know how to else to explain it because I don't have one so yeah and there's also uh, swimming binders that you know well for us when, when you're wearing shirts and stuff in the pool after you get up, everything just clings to you so with that you can sort of um, it's just like a big looks like a, a, a life jacket sort of but it's a swim thing and you just zip it up and you can wear trunks or whatever and that's what you use so yeah, that's basically it for gear. Um, if I didn't mention anything, the rest of the guys of the week will. And that's it with me, and peace out. By the way, my girlfriend wants me to mention Tati loves waffles, but mostly honey bunches of oats, which is me. Yeah, I know that's random, but she wanted me to say that anyway, so peace out. <laughs>